Hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Marie. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a half granny square. A half granny square is really useful to know how to make for a lot of different projects. For example, if you want to make a granny square blanket where you want to place your squares like a diamond, like so, you're going to have to need some half granny squares to fill out the gaps in the sides of your blanket. And you can really make some incredibly beautiful projects when placing your granny squares in this way. So let's get started. For this project, I am using two different colors of Drops Merino Extra Fine DK Light Worsted Weight Yarn. I will also need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and a darning needle to weave in the ends. And of course, some scissors. To begin, I'm going to make a slip knot. So I will form a loop, place my working yarn behind the loop, grab the yarn through the loop with my hook and pull tight. And then I'm going to chain four. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. I will then join these four chains with a slip stitch into the first chain to create a circle. So insert, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. And I now have this small circle here that I can work my stitches into. So to start the first row, I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And these four chains count as a double crochet and a chain one. So next, I'm going to make the first cluster into this circle. So I will just make three double crochet into the circle. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And again. That's two double crochet. And three double crochet. Next, I'm going to make the corner of the triangle. So I'm going to chain two and then i will again make three double crochet into the circle so one two and three and here at last, I'm going to chain one and make one more double crochet into the circle. And the first row is now complete. So I'm going to chain four to start the next row. One, two, three, and four. Four. Then I'm going to turn my work and I will make the first cluster into this first chain space right here. So I will make three double crochet into this first chain space. One, two, and three and next chain one and i will go right into this corner space here and make three double crochet chain two and three double crochet into the same corner space so first three double crochet One, 
then chain two and three more double crochet into the same space. And again, chain one. And I will make three double crochet into this last chain space here. One, two, and three. And again, chain one. And I will make one last double crochet into the same space. So at this point, I'm going to change colors. So to change colors, I'm just going to actually pull this loop out of the hook. Like so. And I'm going to take the new yarn and place it on the hook and pull it through and I will chain four. One, two, three and four. And I'm just going to tie the two yarn tails here on the back side. So I'm going to cut my green yarn and tie a knot. Then I will turn my work and make three double crochet into the first chain space here. So one, two, and three. Then chain one and make three double crochet into the next space. Chain one again, and into the corner space, I will make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet into the same space. And again, chain one. And make three double crochet into the next space. Again, chain one. And again, three double crochet into this last chain space. Then chain one again and make a double crochet again into the same space. And I will just show you again how to make one more round. So I'm going to chain four, then turn my work and make three double crochet into the first space. One, two, and three. Then chain one, and again into the next two spaces, three double crochet, And 
to chain one in between. chain one again and again into the corner space I will make three double crochet chain two and three double crochet into the same space And again, chain one. And I will just repeat on this side of the square. So three double crochet into each space and chain one in between. And here at last, I will just make three double crochet into this last space. And then chain one. And one last double crochet into the same space. And at this point, I am going to change colors. So I'm not going to complete this last double crochet. I'm just going to cut my yarn. Then place my new yarn on the hook and pull it through. And then chain four again. And turn my work. And from here, I'm just going to make as many rows in my triangle as I want to. The only difference is that I will have one more chain space in each row to work into in the sides of my triangle. So here I have four spaces to work into. So I will make three double crochet into each space. and chain one in between each cluster. And before I forget, I'm just going to tie these two yarn tails together. and continue all the way around. And into the corner space, just like in the previous rows, I'm going to make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. I will make three double crochet into the last chain space here of the row. And at last chain one and make a double crochet into the same space. And I'm going to fasten off my yarn at this point. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through to tie a knot. 
And all that's left to do now is just to weave in the yarn tails on the back side. So attach the needle and weave the yarn tails through the stitches. And I will go back and forth a few times to secure the yarn. And we are now all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.